Hello everyone, hi and welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. To know more about this video, Bond vs Loan, watch the video till the end and also if you're new to this channel then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Let's study today a topic that is uh, more on the accounting part uh, which is liabilities in accounting that is bonds and loans they both are liabilities in any financial statement. Let's try and study this topic and the differences. Now the primary difference between the bonds and loan is that the bonds they are the the bonds they are the debt instrument okay and that is issued by the company for raising the funds which are highly tradable in the market that is a person holding the bond can sell it in the market without waiting for its maturity whereas if you talk about loans a person you know uh, you can say that First of all, bond can sell it market without waiting for maturity. Here, loan is an agreement between two parties where one person borrows the money from another, which are not uh, generally, you know, traded in the market. So the terms of the bonds are related to each other. However, they are not same and have certain core differences. Uh, both are debts. They, both of them are debts. Okay. However, they are not same and they have certain core differences. Now, a bond is a kind of a, you can say a loan <laughs> that will be used by large entities or the corporations or the government to raise capital, which they require for operating the business. And it is done by selling the IOUs to the public. So what is loan? A loan is basically a debt which a, which a lender will lend the money and borrower will borrow the money. So a specific time limit will be set for the repayment of the debt money, which includes both interest amount and the principal amount, which has been borrowed by the borrower that from that of the lender. So the principal amount is mostly paid in installments regularly when every installment is similar amount of the money. It will be called an annuity. Now what is bond? Bond is commonly referred to as the fixed income securities and is one of the three major asset classes that individual investors are usually most familiar with along with the stocks equities and the cash equivalents when many governments in the corporate bonds are publicly traded others are traded over the counter or privately between the lenders and the borrowers let's understand this with the help of the infographics first of all the basic difference let's try and understand a bond is a kind of a debt instrument it is the way for the government or the company to raise money by selling in its effect IOUs with the interest payment annually. A loan is another kind of a debt, okay, which is provided by banks mostly, private, with a variable rate, interest rates. Government bond yields are likely to be low and they are the safest because it is backed by the government tax receipts. Loan is comparatively uh, to the bond, the loan interest rates is mostly high and the cases are higher in case unsecured loan, its interest rate would be much more higher. The source in the place, when we talk about bonds, bonds can be sold in the bond markets to the financial and the public institutions, while that of the loan are sanctioned by the banks mostly. The ownership, bonds and the loans. Bonds are usually sold by the governments or the firms, while loans are borrowed by the corporates or the individuals type of the interest rates interest rates in the bond either could be fixed variable or could be non-zero coupons so zero coupon bonds it is called as which are issued at a discount to the par we are talking about zero coupon bonds and the difference is taken as interest in a book at pro rate base here it is unfixed on variable there is no zero coupon bonds trading bonds that are sold and purchased in the bond markets and the bond prices can move up and down like a stock prices and it can be traded there are bond traders who are trading day in and day out Loans are generally fixed and with a bank that has lent and there is no such trading that goes on. The 10-year US Treasury bonds, mortgage-backed security, the asset-backed security are the type of the bonds. We talk about the loans, the term loans, variable bank loans and the cash credits comes into picture. Well, after this, let me make you understand the key differences between the bonds and the loans. Now, the main difference is that bond is, this is highly tradable. Okay. So, if you purchase a bond, there is usually a marketplace where you can trade in. This means you can even sell the bond rather than waiting for the end of the 30th period. 
in practical people purchase bonds when they wish to increase the portfolio in that way and you can see the loan tend to be they, they they tend to be the agreement between the borrowers and the banks and loans are generally non tradable and the banks will be obliged to see out the entire term of the loan now in case of the repayments if you see the bonds tend to only be repaid in full at maturity date example around 10 or 20 or 30th year now here the banks perhaps expects the repayment of both the principal interest during the repayment period at a uh, you can say regular intervals interest rates on the government bonds are generally lower and the us and the uk government's bonds are perhaps treated as the low risk private loans or an, on unsecured debt on the other hand are likely to attract a higher rate of interest the corporate bonds are mostly somewhere between depending upon the reputation of the corporate now, issuing the bond give the corporates significant greater freedom to operate as it deems fit because it frees from the restrictions that are often attached to the loans that are lent by the banks. Consider, for example, the lenders or the creators often require corporates to agree the variety of the limitations of the covenants, such as not to issue debt more or to make corporates acquisitions until the loans are repaid. So this is more on the loans part. Now, the rate of interest that the companies pay the bond investors often less than the rate of interest that would be required to pay that of the loan from the banks. Now, the bonds that uh, are traded in the market do possess the credit rating, which are issued by the credit rating agency, which starts from the investment grades to speculative grade, which investment grades are considered as to be low risk. Okay. And uh, you can say that, you know, the investment grade bonds are low risk and usually they have low yields, whereas speculative bonds are considered of a higher risk. Okay. And that in that particular regards due to, to that high risk and hence they are traded at the high yield compensate the investors for the risk of the payment. So on the contrary, loan doesn't have any such consequence. Great worthiness is checked by the investors. Well, so finally, let me conclude on this. Loans are kind of a debt which a lender will lend money and a borrower will borrow the money and a specific time is set to repayment of the debt debt, debt money which includes the interest and the principal amount which has been borrowed by the corporate or an individual borrower from the lender. And a bond on the other hand is a type of loan which is also known as a debt security and in the case of the bonds, the public is the creditor or the lender and the big corporates of the governments are usually the borrowers. So I hope you have got a fantastic idea about this particular topic. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Thank you everyone once again for joining the session.